Amazing but true, our New York Mets podcast from the New York Post. Jake Brown and Nelson Figueroa here, our web exclusive. Figgy, were you a big sports card memorabilia collector as a kid? And did that outgrow you once you made it professional? No, of course I was a big baseball card guy when I was a kid. I remember when the upper deck cards first came out and it was the Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card in those. And I remember collecting, you know, I had pages of just Mets, pages of just, you know, teams. I went by teams to collect my cards and uh, no, I, I had everything growing up. And then you become a bigger kid when you play baseball, you play professional baseball, because now you're close to those players. So you can do exclusive things like I have David Wright. He signed, I think it was um which baseball game was he on the cover of it was the show the maybe it, it was either early the show right and then the next uh, version of the show or, or uh, 2k he was on 2k it was that him and then it was reyes back to back so i had both those guys signing i had uh, roy halliday sign the disc and everything else so i tried to do unique things i have like uh randy johnson on a baseball bat i have mike schmidt on a golf ball uh, jerry rice on a baseball so little things like that that are really exclusive and really unique um so that's been my sports memorabilia and of course collecting my own cards i actually got a like an, a, a different black refractor refractor version of my card that i had never seen before down in north carolina so i was signing all these cards for the guy and i was like wow i've never seen that before and he's like i have an extra one do you want it i'm like hell yeah i want it so yeah it's pretty cool when you're you're actually on a card too so you don't grow up from that yeah, I don't have that. I don't have me in a card. Um, I am a block away from North Carolina right now. You go down the road, you'll see some cows and horses. I'm in South Carolina, so I'm at my home down here. Uh, if you've listened to the show last year, you heard Mama Brown make an appearance on the show, sitting here uh, holding up that cardboard cutout we have in studio. So I went through some memorabilia. So we joke that it's not even a joke. It's true that I've used a lot of my bar mitzvah money on sports cards and memorabilia. <laughs> so I went through and I have some cool Mets stuff here. I want to do a little show and tell here for uh, the video viewers. You mentioned upper deck. So here's a subway series world series. I had some cool collectibles from the subway series that I had. And this was one of them, a little box card set. It had a, uh, you know, they had like cool things like this and moments mm -hmm. from the subway series. And then you got the cards from each guy, Mike Hampton. I don't need to go through all that, but this is one little starting from the bottom and working our way up here. Now, my dad had the New York Post. He collected from them pristine con condition. So here's Subway Series, World Series, Game 1's New York Post from 2000. Next, we have this. A World Series Game 7 ticket from the 86 World Series. My aunt went to the game. Nice. My, my dad famously turned down a trip to the game from the Celtics owner's son to watch his limo. He offered him to go to game, game six and seven. He said, no, I got to watch my limo. I can't leave the limo alone. <laughs> dad, you should have found a parking lot because you mm -hmm. missed a great World Series. So there's a ticket and the price, Figgy, $30 for upper reserve. Look at that, uh -oh. $30. Can't beat that with a stick. Yeah, that, that'll, uh, well, that'll get you a field level for a Monday night at City Field now. Uh, all right, moving right along here. Another Subway Series commemorative set we have here. A limited edition postcard set from the 69 Miracle Mets. Kind of cool. Nice. Little postcards. You got guys here. Ed Cranepool, you see. And speaking of Ed Cranepool, one of these sports card shows with Ed Cranepool. Look at that loser Jake. Look at that <laughs> smile. What is that? Holy yeah. cow, the uh, glow up with an oversized hat, a fake smile, and Ed Crane pool. Look at that. Not going to lie. That, that that kid was going nowhere. People are going to have nightmares watching. I'm glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad you chose a different path. There's a reason I didn't kiss a girl until I was 18, because I look like this. <laughs> what is that smile? Your My goodness. Your cousin at the bar mitzvah doesn't count. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we're not, it wasn't a West Virginia bar mitzvah. It was Connecticut. Here's here's a little pimple too. I'm like, God damn. Oh my that was, god. That was ugly. <laughs> uh speaking of Mets legends, Yogi Berra. Look at that. Nice. How about that? Yogster. Again, look at this chubby freaking fatty. <laughs> Good God. Look at the fit. This is why I wear ramen noodle hoodies. I was wearing an Abercrombie. Look at this thing. Good yeah, God, but I love that chubby. you're I love that you're saying glow up instead of grow up. Grow up and glow up. It is a glow up for sure. Chris Benson at Dodger Stadium. Again, another terrible picture, man. 
It's Jake and Chris Benson. I, I'm serious. If I saw that picture without knowing you, I'd never guess it was you. Yeah, it's 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 unreal. It looks like a different human being uh, than me. All right, here's another cool one. Ready? A Shea Stadium replica giveaway. Nice. We'll do a little unboxing here. Does that I have a lot of complete, other stuff. But... Complete with rats? Uh, yes. <laughs> you might find a, a rat in here. It's got styrofoam. I, I remember they gave out on Fan Appreciation Day in 2003 an 82-song album. It was a Mets like hit. It had like Mets moments, songs. Mm-hmm. Um, it was pretty cool. I actually never opened it up out of the wrapper. Look at that. Oh, man, I miss Shay. It was right. a dump, but it was our dump. For sure. This is actually a really cool giveaway. That is cool. Yeah, they had the uh, neon. They have the neon light guys are on around it. Uh, they do. You nice. can see it a little bit. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. That's right. cool. So that's my Shea replica, and then a couple more we got here. We got a uh, a Mike Piazza. This was a big bar mitzvah gift someone gave me. Auto- oh, wrong way. Autographed Sports Illustrated cover. Nice. That. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. All right, and then we got. Now we'll just go through some cards. I was a big game use jersey, game use bat, and autograph card guy. So, in honor of Sunday Night Baseball and the saving grace of that terrible broadcast, David Cohn. There you go. Coney. Ray Knight, 86 World Series Um, MVP. Might punch you right in the face for having his card. Might not answer a text either. Jose Reyes, (laughs) game use jersey card. Nice. Yeah, a little vintage. Paul LaDuca gave me his jersey card. There he is, not riding a horse. Yeah, not tweeting aggressive things. Uh, <laughs> Billy Wagner gave me his jersey card, friend of the program, mm-hmm. who will also be an old-timers day, which you heard. We made some news. We, we stole the Mets news. They announced Strawberry would attend and not play. We're like, how about Doc attends and plays? Courtesy mm-hmm. of Amazing But True. Bam. Carlos Delgado game use bat card. How do you like that? Oh, yeah. We got to get Delgado on. Yeah, he's a must. Love him. How about this one? A Philip Humber autographed rookie card. Mm. Phil Humber once through a perfect game. That in 550, I get you a Starbucks. <laughs> the Starbucks might cost more than the card, actually. I don't know. The macchiatos get pricey for a <laughs> grande or venti, whatever. You can't, you can't get that cloud foam in there. That's way too expensive. I don't belong at Starbucks because I always say large. They're like venti. I'm like, I don't know. Do I want the Ariana Grande? I don't know. <laughs> I never know what to order. Hearts, did you have something to add about Philip Humber? I was just curious how much it would take for you to part with that Philip Humber card. Wow. Oh. A McDonald's ice cream cone. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in order a Chick Fil A, yeah. Wendy's, and go and go pick it up for him. And then here's the last one: a guy who I really wish they kept, but another autograph rookie card, Joe Smith. Ah, uh, the Joe Smith, good oh, dude. What a great Matt. Good so that's, dude. That's the uh, collection. <laughs> There's more, but uh, just, what do you think, Figgy? You like that stuff? No, it's very cool stuff. That's and I'm very, very happy that you were able to find it. And mom not only didn't turn your room into like, you know, the jacuzzi room or just take all your stuff and have a bonfire or garage sale. Well, it was all in the attic and the attic was about 800 degrees. I almost died in the attic getting <laughs> through this stuff. But uh, the yearbooks are still hidden somewhere. I think so she wait, still are has you, are you you're going to leave it all there, right? Uh, I'm not bringing it up because okay. I w- actually was under the weight, surprisingly, for the suitcase. It was at 48 pounds. The last time it was 60 pounds when I went to California. That was the last time you heard that, huh? So the last time I was underweight. Jake, since, Jake uh, you're underweight. <laughs> yeah, since <laughs> since the Clinton presidency, it's the last time I'm underweight. And I usually make those presidency but, jokes, but this one's accurate. But please, please do not disturb Mama Brown and put all that stuff away. Don't leave it around. Yeah, well, I'm going to Rangers game seven in Raleigh, so I'll have to do it quickly because mm-hmm. I'm making the trip. But uh, that is our web extra this week for Amazing But True. Jake Brown, Nelson Figueroa, signing out.